This is a story about a new talent emerging in British football. Join me to discover his story. Alex Barker was born on the 8th of March 2008 in a small village in Northamptonshire to parents of Jamaican and English descent. Coming from a sport mad family he started to show an interest in football at the age of three. His love for the family team Arsenal grew stronger and only made him more determined to start playing football himself. Too young to join a club, he attended after school football practice at his local primary school, but at the age of six he joined his first club, Byfield Tigers FC. Byfield Tigers was where Alex Barker first played his competitive football. Uh, I think it was an under sevens year group. Uh, I always remember when Alex came to, uh, to Byfield Tigers, he first turned up at practice with his brother Eddie in his Arsenal shirt and with his hair cut like uh, Raheem Sterling in his Liverpool days. And I sort of thought to myself, well, he's certainly got the looks. I hope he's got the, the skill as well. And as soon as he started playing, we, we could see that he had uh very quick on his feet um very nice uh vision for a pass and um really fitted into the team very quickly uh when we first started playing our, our games uh, we played in the three counties league and were playing sometimes against teams where that were two years older and uh alex always um gave his best and always was a a, a force to be reckoned with even against the older boys and if I'm correct, I think uh, Alex was involved in our first ever goal for, for Byfield Tigers. The, the first couple of games we, we got pretty battered, but uh, I think the third game we ever played, um, Alex was in, in, involved in that goal. Uh, I'm not really sure if it was the assist or if it was the actual goal itself, but I, I can still see the, the, the goal going in now at Tyson. So, um, Obviously, he didn't stay long at Byfield Tigers. His uh, his skills were were far better than than we we could look after. So uh, after one season with us, I think he went over to to Northampton to the academy, and uh, we were obviously pleased for him and and really pleased that he'd, he'd made that jump. But it left a big hole in our team. Alex joined Banbury United under nines, still aged seven, where he really started to shine. Alex's former coach shares his memories and thoughts. Alex Barker joined us, I think it was under eight. I remember a young lad uh, Thursday night at Ironstone. So, um, literally within five minutes of him training, I could see 
was an exceptional talent, left-footed, lots of energy, really quick, good finisher. Even for such a small lad, he got stuck in. Um, very, very good talent and wanted to sign him immediately. Alex then became um, regular in my team. Player of the year, one occasion. Obviously playing up a year as well, which is outstanding. He could literally play anywhere on the pitch, left back, left wing, centre forward. He was extremely quick, didn't, wasn't afraid to get stuck in. Um, really do miss him in the team. He was always on time, hard working. His attitude was correct. And I, I do think he'll probably go far in football because of the way he is. I know he's doing a lot better nowadays, but uh, I know I did miss him immensely when he left our team. For obviously, the structure of the team, we had a left footed player, there aren't many left footed players about. Like I say, if I had another 10 more Alexes in the team, I would be top of the league every week. At the Cobblers tournament run by Northampton Town FC, Alex was scouted by head youth coach Mark Lyons and signed for Northampton Academy under nines. Academy football with a big step up. Whilst tough at first, Alex soon settled into his new environment. His first game was against Coventry City. He developed his skills and became further proficient playing mainly as a left winger and left back. He went on to play against teams such as Everton, Leicester City, Portsmouth, Brighton, Nottingham Forest and Liverpool amongst many others. This is some rare footage of Alex playing against Liverpool Academy at the Kirkby Training Centre. After two seasons, Alex was released from Northampton. The club cited inconsistent performances as their reason. This was his first major setback. After the initial disappointment, Alex joined Falcons Black FC, the leaders in Northampton's A-League. And a year later, the team merged with Bugbrook St. Michael's FC. Alex cemented his place in the starting 11. He went on to win several major honours, including the League FA Cup. Taking on board the comments from the coaches at Northampton, Alex pushed himself physically. His performances on the pitch showed how hard he had worked and how much he had grown as a player. He became the team's top goal scorer, won player's player and manager's player of the year in his final season. Four years after leaving Northampton's academy, a second opportunity presented itself. Alex was invited to trial at Rushton and Diamond Academy. He was offered a place and started to train with his new team immediately. I caught up with their head coach, Tony Gachette. He was uh, very versatile, uh, didn't complain about any position he wanted to play in. And to be honest, uh, when we asked him what positions you know, the, uh, the, the lads wanted to play in, he was the first person to go, I'll go in this position when nobody else offered that position. So we knew from our perspective that you know, he's willing to do whatever it takes to play and get into our team. We 
we class Alex as uh, in the top uh, quarter of the teams. Always willing to learn, uh, to improve, listens to what we say, and also is not afraid to ask questions, etc. You know, so and that's what we want. Someone who's really, really willing to learn and progress, really. Um, he's very fluid, great, you know, he's uh, great on the ball, he's always got his head up and, you know, looking to like obviously either take on a player or pass. For us, we always encourage that when we have a, what we call a one-on-one -on -one player, you know, where he's obviously coming against a defender or a, another player from the opposition, we say, take him on. But to be honest, we've never had to tell Alex that because he just does it naturally. So for us, you know, he, you know, he's just a great all-round player, really. And to be honest, if we had another 10 players like him, we'll have a perfect team, you know. So just by, uh, you know, concentrating, uh, working hard, you know, because his, his work rate is top drawer as well. You know, he's really good uh, work rate for us and that. You know, we see him as probably the player probably out of three players he's one of three players that we're going to try and push on you know into obviously league football as well for us so that's what we're, that's our plans anyway yeah Uh, to be honest, we've been looking for someone like Alex for a long time, really, and we've seen Alex play in his uh, grassroots teams as well, and that. So we knew what type of player he was, you know. So, and we only see him again because he's one of the top players in there. It's for us now to push him to that next level, really, you know. So, and um, he has he has all the skills and everything to do it, you know. And on top of that, you know, we know like he doesn't give up. Yeah, he gives 110 percent in every game and every training drill. We know he's never gonna moan about what position he goes. You know, we know he's a left uh, lefty, so we know we can play him as a left back position or a left wing, even on the right wing, so, and he's very versatile, you know, and like I say, because he's always willing to learn, we know we can put him anywhere, really. So for us, perfect. I met up with Alex at the training ground. My ambitions for the future would be to progress as a player and hopefully take football as a career. I think my best football position is left wing as I've been playing there for many years. I've got used to the position and I think I'm a very good attacker myself. My biggest achievement in football would be signing for Northampton Town as the high elite football academy and it's very it's a minority of people that get into those kind of clubs. Yeah, of course, football has been the highlight of my life, been main a main part of my life and I'd like to see myself go down the career of football, if not making it as a player, a manager. Good luck Alex, we'll be watching out for you.